welcome everyone myself dr arun kumar from the department of computer science and engineering takpam college of engineering and uh, today we will see what is meant by greedy method and how it is used in solving problems greedy algorithm obtains an optimal solution by making sequence of decisions and in general a greedy method makes decisions one by one and the decisions are made in such a way that that particular decision seems to be the best possible one at the moment it will consider only that aspect that's what a greedy method literally uh, greedy denotes that as a synonym the decision made using greedy choice property is utilized here and remember a very important factor here the decision once made cannot be revoked it cannot be changed at any point later it is one of the important property of greedy method right we will see few more uh, basic points or rather i can say features of greedy this algorithm always make the decision that looks best at the moment that's what i am saying you are trying to choose one particular decision which seems to be the best at that instant and remember this method will not always produce the optimal solution but most of the time it is going to give the best possible result the feasible solution and optimal solution are used interchangeably in exploring greedy problems so remember a feasible solution is a solution that satisfy the problem constraints whereas the optimal solution is definitely a feasible solution that optimizes the objective function so basically greedy algorithm are utilized in optimization problems where we need to choose the optimal solution among more number of feasible solutions available for the problem again we see dig deeper into what is really a greedy method is it is a strategy where the best optimal choice at each small stage is taken and it should eventually lead to global optimal solution and we hope for that and it might happen most of the time or it might not happen at some point of time that's why we say greedy method will not always give the optimal solution but the algorithm picks the best solution at the moment without seeing any other consequences that is the crux of a greedy method it chooses the best immediate possible output available and it will not see the bigger picture it will not see the consequences that might happen in the later stage that's what a greedy property really denotes and let me go into a very simple example of explaining what is a greedy method just think about or you assume that there is an atm machine now and you are trying to enter a pin and you are supposed to withdraw some amount which you are uh, giving it as an input to the machine and assume that now the atm machine is applying a greedy strategy so that it gives the least possible number of denominations to you so that you can take away those denominations from the machine go with an example assume that here for this particular problem there are 
few denominations available say 100 rupee 200 rupee 500 rupee and 2000 rupee which are all uh, different denominations available in multiple proportions and for that the problem says that you want to withdraw a particular amount say 7300 now you just think about in what way you can really really take up this 7300 from the machine so that you get only with least number of denominations and remember you have 100 rupee notes n number of 100 rupee note n number of 200 rupee note and n number of 500 as well as 2000 rupee notes in the machine so there is no deficient in the denominations you can take any number of denominations or rather the machine can give you any number of denominations but remember it should only give the least possible number of notes to you to equate to this 7300 it's a very simple process as you have 2000 rupee note how many 2000 rupee note are inclusive under 7300 as you know there can be three notes of 2000 rupee note you can take which means now it is 6000 rupee over then another 1300 rupees need to be taken up and I cannot go for another 2000 rupee because it is not possible hence I can go with what I can take two 500 rupee note to make it another thousand so now it becomes what already I have six thousand and now a plus another thousand seven thousand and for another three hundred rupee I can pick basically one two hundred rupee note and one hundred rupee note which means how many uh, denominations I can really have here is a very important point possibly you can see uh, the number of uh, things we can uh, uh, the the basic or the minimum number of denominations you can take three 2000 rupee note and another two 500 rupee note and one to 200 plus another hundred so we are having a three plus two plus one and another one so it is basically uh, 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 6 plus 1 7 is the answer the minimum number of denominations I can have where I have a 2000 rupee 3 times and uh, 6000 over and another 500 another 500 I can take so until now it is 7000 for 300 rupee note I can take one 200 rupee with along with it another 100 rupee so it is 3 plus 2 plus 2 7 is my answer here for this problem and remember this ATM machine is applying what logic a greedy approach how you are saying this as greedy here I am trying to take as many 2000 as possible here that's the greedy approach I try to take the best possible scenario or rather a strategy here as my choice uh, making here once I have completed 6000 now I cannot go for another 2000 because the problem constraint will not allow so I am going for the next possible best solution available uh, 500 and another 500 is also possible but now after that there is no possibility of 500 because the remaining amount is only 300 so I am picking up with it 1 200 and another 100 rupee note so this is the greedy approach I would say and remember greedy approach will not be uh, giving the optimal solution always maybe I can go for another example so that you understand that case also think about now for this problem where you assume that I am having only a hundred rupee denomination and a 700 rupee denomination and a thousand rupee denomination normally we don't have anything called a 700 rupee note you make an assumption here in a particular country X 
in a uh, in a in a in a in a virtual world you have a country with a 100 rupee denomination 700 rupee denomination as well as a 1000 rupee denomination and i am supposed to withdraw an amount of 1500 out of these denominations so what this greedy approach will do means it will pick the maximum possible out of these three as 1000 rupee note once a 1000 rupee note has been taken up you know that the next possibility is i cannot take 700 so i need to go for what 100 rupee note and that to five notes when i take that the total notes will become what six but you know in general when you apply your brain here it is very very easy to complete this process with only three notes you take two 700 rupee note and another 100 rupee note to make a 1500 which is the best and optimal result but remember i cannot do that here because in greedy approach i need to pick the best possible at the moment maybe here my best possibility is 1000 i have to pick it there is no other go once i pick my 1000 rupee note i cannot go for 700 because i need only uh, another 500 so i need to go for 100 rupee note with five uh, different notes of 100 rupees so it goes with six which is not the right solution whereas you have a best solution with to 700 rupee note and a 100 rupee note with three as my the minimum possible denominations so here you can say that the greedy method have failed it is failed to grab the optimal solution this will also happen in certain cases and uh, let me tell you there are few more interesting examples under greedy algorithm like activity selection and job sequencing with deadline all Uh, applies the greedy approach to solve such problems when i say activity selection it is nothing but i have a set of activity with inputs like start time and an end time i need to find the maximum number of activities performed by a person assuming that the person can work on a single activity at a time this is again an optimization problem your greedy algorithm works perfectly fine here similarly there is something called job sequencing with the deadlines i have a deadline for each job and i need to arrange the job and i need to pick the maximum number of job with respect to the deadline so that i have the maximum benefit or a profit again greedy algorithm can be used for solving this problem huffman coding another interesting problem that that applies uh, uh, that has application in many compression techniques uh, it utilizes greedy method digextra algorithm a very famous algorithm that applies to get the shortest route between two uh vertices or rather i can call it as a source and a destination uh, that algorithm also applies greedy algorithm similarly finding the minimum spanning tree using cruz calls and prims algorithm also applies greedy method so greedy method have quite a lot of applications and um, such uh, applications like scheduling bin packing traveling salesman digextra mst uh, and fractional knapsack another important and interesting problem that can be solved by greedy method so these are all some common applications of greedy algorithm possibly we may see one by one in the subsequent lectures thank you